already. I'm primed to cry. Nope, nope, nope. Too much for me. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hannah, I'm your voice teacher. You can find me over on Instagram and TikTok at your voice teacher. I post a lot of voice related content, reaction videos, and also some content just about me. It's a great time. Today I am ranking the saddest musical theater songs based on how much they make me cry. And if you guys have been around for a while, you know that it's actually not that hard to do. <laughs> is make me cry. I've cried a few times in my videos. I can't help it. I'm overcome by emotion. Before we jump into the tier list, I want to give a thank you to myself for sponsoring this video. So I do master classes once a month. It's a great time. We have six singers and observers, and it's an amazing opportunity to learn about your voice by watching other people get coaching. And if you want to sing, getting that one-on-one -on -one time with me. I don't know when I'm going to have private lesson openings again. So master classes are the number one way to work with me. So if you want to come to my next masterclass, click the link below to sign up. I need my tea. Cheers. I wanted to start with a song that would maybe ease me into the sadness today. This is Dying Ain't So Bad from Bonnie and Clyde. Laura Osnes. So this song is one of my favorite audition songs. I think it's great for learning how to mix and I think it just has so much emotion behind it. There's a lot of like digging underneath the layers of the emotion, which I love. So if y'all are looking for a new audition song, check this one out. But my favorite part is the very end, the big belt. Let's listen to it. I'd rather read it. Never heard her do that riff before. Let's listen to that again. I literally have full body chills. Okay, all right. Do you see this? A little misty. Okay, I'm a little misty. The whole song is very beautiful. We're not gonna listen to the whole thing because you know, I'd actually like to get paid for this video. Mm. I would say I got a little misty. Also that riff knocked me out. I feel like to begin, we're gonna put Dying Ain't So Bad at like a solid C. I might move it, I might move it. Don't come for me. But we're gonna just start middle, you know? Get ready guys. The next song is Words Fail from Dear Evan Hansen. And this is a bootleg. Please forgive me. I saw this on Broadway. My Evan's name was Taylor. I can't remember what his last name was. It was so beautiful. I ugly cried through pretty much the entire show, but when words fail happened, I was a goner. I physically could not handle it. I've cried in shows before, silent tears, but this one I was making noise. I was audibly gasping. <laughs> oh gosh, people around me must've thought I was crazy. Let's listen to the amazing Ben Platt sing this song. I never thought that it would go this far. There were emails. You showed us the emails. So I just stand here, sorry, searching for something to say. Something to say. What do you know about the orchard? He took you to the orchard. That's where you broke your arm. No, I broke my arm in Ellison Park by no, myself. Oh no, that day at the orchard, you and Connor at the orchard. Words fail. This video was a mistake. <laughs> I'm struggling. Okay, we're gonna have to skip ahead to the end because we gotta hear, we gotta hear the end, even though, can you see my face? Woo! Also, that song is just exquisite. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. I wish that we could like move to a happy song now, but unfortunately we're just going strong. The next song is With You from Ghost. So this role was originated by Cassie Levy, but I found a really incredible live performance of this song by Olivia Henley. I listened to a little bit at the beginning, but I stopped myself because I want to react to this fully. I picked up your shirts this morning 
I don't know why. I don't know why. Mr. Reynolds said to say hello. I started to cry. I started to cry. Ah, uh, get out of here. <laughs> Too much for me guys i'm literally crying already I need to hug my husband okay we're going to the big part Beautiful. <sighs> Guys, can you see my goosebumps? Can you see them? No, you know, don't worry about it. They're there. Olivia? Who? Where did you come from? I'm gonna link Olivia's video down below. If any of you know her, send her my video so she can see how amazing I thought that her performance was. I am gonna have to give with you, we're gonna have to put with you in a B tier right now. And I'm gonna move up Dine So Bad. Actually, no, I, I lied. I'm gonna leave Dine So Bad in the C tier. For now, we'll see. Our next song, She Used To Be Mine by Jesse Mueller. <sighs> Here we go. Truly. Oh my gosh. It got a little misty. I maybe think that it is because I know this song so well. I'm going to have to put this one next to Dianne So Bad right there. I'm not crying, but I am very sad. Can anybody relate? Okay, guys. Next, we've got So Big, So Small from Dear Evan Hansen. More Dear Evan Hansen. I'm ready. This is the incredible Rachel Bay Jones, the original Heidi on Broadway. And I knew I'd come up short a million different ways. And I did. And I do. And I will. But like that. You've got to be kidding me. Why did I do this to myself? Why did I do this to myself? S, S, oh my gosh. When she says, and I did, and I do, that like silence, that's good. <sighs> Intermission. <laughs> I need to pull myself together a little bit. Next, we have the song All Grown Up from Bear. Do you guys know this song? It is so beautiful. I actually just learned about this song like three months ago. I can't believe I didn't know about it. This picture has my girl, Lindsay Heather Pierce. I just had a lesson with her if you wanna check out that video. But I wanted to feature a singer that I found on YouTube who is doing this song really well. Her name is Natalie Lorena, and we're gonna to listen to a little bit of hers. <laughs> She did that note really well. Good job, Natalie. Man, she's got some pipes, right? I'm not crying. This is a, an E. I felt something. I felt a, an inkling of emotion. I'm just kidding. I actually love that song. 
to pieces. I love it. I think it's super beautiful. The highest moment of intensity is when she switches from saying I'm all grown up to the very end when she's almost whispering I'm just a girl oh my gosh full body chills but girl I did not cry so Lindsay you're going down here on E because that's the picture of Lindsay right there <gasps> from Bright Star okay guys you guys know how much I love Bright Star <laughs> I talk about it all the time this is I had a vision now this is when Jimmy is his name Jimmy I think it is this is when Jimmy tells what is her name <laughs> Oh my gosh, oh, I can't remember. She's a dream role of mine. How can I not remember what her name is? Annie? Nope. I don't know. Anyway, this is right after Jimmy tells her that her baby that she's been looking for is dead. But, spoiler alert, he's not dead. But right here, she thinks that he is. And it's so beautiful. In the show, which I got to see on Broadway, she collapses to the ground, which is just, I mean, I'm already crying before the song even starts. You guys have to hear a little bit of this. <laughs> If I could lift this veil of darkness, if I could see my way back to you, I have vision. So Carmen Cusack and Alexander Nolan, aren't they incredible? Alexander has a voice that is so rich, so much depth. Oh my gosh, I love it. I'm not crying though. And this is musical theater songs ranked by how much they make me cry. So I'm uh, gonna have to give you an E because I did feel something. I felt the tears, like maybe they would come, but then they were like, mm, no. Of course we have to do I'm Here by Cynthia Rebo. Have you guys seen the video where I reacted to this? There were literal tears streaming down my face. And here we go. I'm ready for it again. Hey, renders me speechless. Her voice is out of this world. She's a goddess. Like she is not of this earth. She is ethereal, angelic. I would kiss Cynthia Erivo's feet if she was in front of me. So obviously we're going S tier. Okay, tea break. We have two more songs. This next one is some things are meant to be from Little Women. If you don't know the story of Little Women, I'm gonna need you to do some research. You could read the book, you could watch the movie, you could listen to the musical. This is Joe and Beth, two sisters, saying goodbye. Beth is very sick. Honestly, it gets me every time. So I'm ready, I'm primed to cry. Here we go. All my life, 
I've lived for loving you. Let me go now. Nope, nope, nope. Too much for me. Too much for Hannah today. You know, I have to film after this. Why didn't I do this one last? Well, I'm clearly a mess. I gotta have to say, oh gosh. You know, I'm gonna have to say an A. If I had to compare that to I'm here, I would say I'm a little less than that. I lost it with I'm here. And probably if there wasn't a camera in my face, I would have lost it even more. So some things are meant to be A tier. Okay guys, I saved the best for last. It's Quiet Uptown from Hamilton. Okay, so my camera ran out of memory while I was in the middle of crying during It's Quiet Uptown. Right before the best part. So let's go back. I'll try to gather up my tears again. We'll see. Forgiveness. Okay, here they are again. Okay, well then, that little break did nothing for my sensibilities, and here I am crying again. We gotta make the final tier list, y'all. Hold on, let me gather myself. Back. Okay, clearly that needs to be an S. Okay, I need to do some rearranging. I think I'm gonna move so big, so small down to A. We're gonna put words fail, I'm here, and it's quiet uptown on S. I stand by that. Oh boy, okay, I'm gonna move. Dying ain't so bad. Oh gosh, <gasps> this is so hard. Okay, based on how much they make me cry. That's the thing. Okay, so I'm gonna leave with you on B tier, absolutely. I stand by Dying ain't so bad and she used to be mine in C tier. Even though I love those songs. I was a little misty but I didn't cry. And then on E tier, I had a vision and all grown up. Not because I don't love them, guys, don't hate me. But I do wanna know what you guys were crying at. Were you crying with me? Am I all by myself here? You gotta tell me. The frame is very different this time. You guys can see my make big mistakes sign. There it is. Whenever I do videos and I change the frame, I zoom it in a little bit, but I forgot to do it because my camera ran out of memory. You can only see mistakes above my head, which is a problem. So I'm gonna end up moving that. <laughs> okay, this is the list. Musical theater songs that make me cry. I hope you enjoyed watching me cry. Thanks for being here. I thought this was really fun. Are there any other tier lists you want me to make? The best Broadway belters, like the characters, musical theater belters, or we could do like my favorite belting songs. There's a lot of things we could do. So let me know in the comments what you wanna see. And until next time, I'm Hannah, I'm your voice teacher, and now you're all my students. Please like and subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, follow me on Instagram and TikTok, and I'll see you next time.